iCarly's ending was unexplained until now. iCarly is one of Nickelodeon's most popular shows from the late 2000s, though the show's ending has confused many fans for years until now. Before we get started, remember to hit that like button so we know who all the real iCarly fans are. iCarly's mysterious ending. iCarly was one of Nickelodeon's most popular sitcoms in the mid to late 2000s. The show acted somewhat as a follow-up to the incredibly successful show Drake and Josh. It featured Miranda Cosgrove, who also acted in Drake and Josh as its lead character and the show's namesake. Other cast members included Jeanette McCurdy, Nathan Kress, Jerry Trainer, and Noah Monk. The show followed the life of a young girl named Carly, who had a wildly successful internet show. She hosted the show in the attic of her apartment, which she shared with her older brother, Spencer. The plot of the show followed iCarly and friends rise to internet stardom, while also having to deal with the struggles of high school and teenage life. Do you have any pudding cups? <laughs> Just one, and I already promised Freddy he could have it after the show. The show was nominated for awards several times, and even though the show wasn't necessarily a hit with television critics, it proved to be incredibly popular with its intended audience. The show's final episode aired in November of 2012, with the 2010 episode of iCarly holding the record of being the second most watched episode in Nickelodeon history. iCarly's final episode, I Goodbye, saw Carly awaiting her father's arrival in Seattle so that the two could attend a father-daughter Air Force dance together. This was the final year that Carly Carly would be eligible to attend the dance and she had missed out on the dance for the four years leading up to this moment. Her father had been stationed overseas and was unable to be around for most of Carly's teen years, so she was looking forward to the dance more than anything. Though just as she's gearing up to leave, she gets a message from her father informing her that he will be unable to attend. Carly is incredibly upset, though Spencer offers to take their father's place. Carly agrees, but Spencer later gets sick and is unable to go. Freddie and Gibby offer to take Spencer's place but this only upsets Carly as she wanted to go with her father after missing out on so much of their time together. In a surprise turn of events, Carly's father can make it to the dance on time, though he has a request for Carly. He wants her to move to Italy with him as he's being relocated. Carly's friends encourage her to move with her father, even though it means that the iCarly web series will come to an end. Carly agrees to leave, packs her things, and heads to the airport. Sam decides to leave Seattle, setting up the plot for Nickelodeon's follow-up series, Sam and Cat. Freddie then closes up the iCarly studio and ends the episode with iCarly's famous final line, and we're clear. Miranda Cosgrove says that the series needed to end because she planned on going to college. She mentioned in an interview that as soon as the show wrapped, she packed her things and headed to the University of Southern California. She didn't even take time off to collect her thoughts. She immediately packed and left. It's also important to note that the series began when Miranda was just 14 years old. The other actors were quite young as well which was part of the appeal of the show. Though as they all grew older, the show was beginning to dramatically change. Rather than continue to shift the overall plot and concept of the show, the actors and Nickelodeon both felt that it was time to end the series. Though fans hated to see the series go, the final episode was one of the highest rated iCarly episodes ever, a fitting end for such an incredibly well-written series. And this has been iCarly. Where are Carly and Sam now? Since the show's conclusion, the cast has all gone their separate ways and started careers of their own. Miranda Cosgrove, who played Carly, has been quite busy in both her personal life and professional life. Following iCarly, Miranda Cosgrove was recognized as being the highest paid child actor in television history by Guinness World Records, earning $180,000 per episode of iCarly. She then became involved with the Despicable Me franchise, doing voiceover work for the character Margot. She was later cast in NBC's sitcom Crowded, though this series was canceled after just a single season. She was later cast in yet another NBC series known as Spaced Out, though this show never actually made it to television. Aside from her television career, Miranda planned to attend school to become a licensed veterinarian. However, her plans later changed and she switched her major to film, then once again to psychology. It's unknown whether or not Miranda graduated from school as her personal life has been kept extremely private over the years. Jeanette McCurdy was cast in iCarly as Sam Puckett. She was a favorite for many child viewers as her aggressive and 
somewhat careless demeanor was captivating and hilarious for the young audience. She was later cast in an iCarly spin-off series known as Sam and Cat. This show was relatively short-lived, but generally received positive reviews from viewers. The show was on air from 2013 to 2014, with just 35 episodes ever making it to television. Jeanette McCurdy was cast alongside Ariana Grande, who soon had an incredibly successful musical career. Many have attributed the cancellation of Sam and Cat to Ariana's rise to fame, as well as the contract disagreements between Jeanette and Nickelodeon. What's up with the, uh, that? I babysit him. I don't see a kid. I guess he must have left. Jeanette was later cast in a Netflix series known as Between, with the show airing from 2015 to 2016. Jeanette starred in several small-time roles since then, including a short film. The since remains somewhat out of the spotlight. In the years since, she has written articles for Seventeen Magazine and even the Huffington Post, and Jeanette is quite a talented writer. As for her personal life, Jeanette came out in 2019, revealing she has been battling bulimia and anorexia since the age of 11. She once lost a tooth due to somatic acid eating away at her tooth enamel from vomiting and is even said to have passed out in her friend's bathroom as a result of dehydration. Jeanette has pretty much remained absent from TV and television since 2016, though she has taken a few stray roles here and there. We hope the best for her in her medical battles and truly hope to see her in the spotlight again soon. The iCarly Boys, then and now. Nathan Cress was a fan favorite for preteen girls all across America. Starring as Freddie Benson, Cress played the show's nerdy, shy character who at one point even had a love interest with Sam. Following the show, Cress starred in his first major film production for the film Into the Storm. The film was a box office success and profited substantially in its initial theater run. After this, Cress landed a directing role for the Nickelodeon series Henry Danger. This show was aired since 2014 and is still in production to this day. In May 2015, Cress became engaged to his longtime girlfriend and co-star of Into the Storm, London Elise Moore. The two later married in November of 2015 and had their first child in December of 2017. Cress hasn't had an incredibly active career since then, though he has appeared in a couple of other television roles since, including a voiceover role in Transformers Cyberverse. Jerry Trainer starred in iCarly as Spencer, with Jerry, much like Miranda, being carried over from the Jake and Josh cash where he assumed the role of Crazy Steve. After iCarly, Jerry starred in a very short-lived series known as Wendell and Benny. The show premiered on Nickelodeon in 2013 and was geared toward a much older audience than iCarly. Because of this, the show was originally planned to air on Nick at night, though it was later moved and aired during regularly scheduled Nick hours, oftentimes airing in the afternoons on weekdays. The show received lukewarm reviews and was ultimately canceled after just one season. Afterward, Trainer went on to appear in a World of Warcraft miniseries known as Project Lore. He was also cast in another video game project involving the Halo series, where he played Commander Michael Sullivan for two seasons of the broadcast. He has since appeared in a YouTube series alongside Michael Gorman, which is still in production to this day. No iCarly list would be complete without mentioning Gibby, who was portrayed by Noah Monk. Gibby landed a role in iCarly and starred in the show for three seasons before becoming a full-time character around 2010. Immediately following iCarly, a spin-off series known as Gibby was rumored to have been in production. The series was expected to star Gibby, now older, who was a mentor to four fourth-grade students. Sadly, the show never made it to air as Sam and Cat was chosen as a spin-off instead. Noah also produces electronic music under the pseudonym Noxic. He's been active since 2012, though he took a break around 2017. He's now posting music from a SoundCloud account known as Sad World Beats. Noah has also been involved in a YouTube channel known as Sad World, in which he uploads comedic sketches, as well as videos that he described as an amalgamation of images, glitches, and sounds designed to overload the viewer's senses. Noah has also appeared in the hit television series The Goldberg since 2014, having a reoccurring role as the character Naked Rob. He also starred in the spin-off series Schooled, also taking on the role of Naked Rob. Aside from this, his acting careers remain somewhat quiet, though it's great to see that he has managed to 
to maintain a role in such a popular ABC series. Even though all of the iCarly cast has gone their separate ways, many fans still hold hope that they can reunite one day, even if only for a single episode or a movie spinoff. Though fans have also been begging for a Drake and Josh reunion for over a decade, yet that has never come. Regardless, iCarly is easily one of the most iconic Nickelodeon shows of all time, and we just hope that we will hear more from our favorite characters eventually, even if it seems increasingly unlikely.